Today I'll be using ECD Suite, TDI tuning software available from ecuconnections.com and you'll find the link in the description below. In this video I'm going to show you how to set the single value rev limiter or SVRL as it's commonly known on most EDC15P ECUs for both 1.4 and 1.9 turbo diesel engines. First thing we need to do, we need to locate the address of the single value rev limiter. So we do this by going up to actions and view file in hex. Once the window is open then, we're going to use the magnification symbol and we're going to search for the following hex value. Once we've found then, we're going to hit the find next option and it should bring up the highlighted hex in the search bar. We don't need to worry about this, all we're worried about is the two options to the left hand side and we now need to take note of the address that these two values are sitting at. In this case we're looking at 5426 and then we're going to go up to the top of the window and we're going to look for the address of the last digit which in this case is 8. So the final address that we're going to have is 54268. Once we've written down the address, we're going to go across and we're going to go to File, New Map, and then we're going to put in the map address that we've just located. Once we've done that, we're going to put it into a folder, so we'll put it in Detected Maps, Limiters, and we're going to give it a name. Once we've done, we're going to hit Save Changes. Scroll down to the maps to the left then and locate the new map that you've just created and double click on it. This then opens up the single value rev limiter which for most PD engines is 5300 RPM for the 1.9 turbo diesels or 4900 RPM for the little 1.4s. Change it to the value that you want to do and then we're going to click the bottom and we're going to select save. Once we've done that, that's only one code block that we've modified. If you want to do the rest, you can right click, go to map properties, and then change the map address to either six or seven, depending on how many code blocks you have in the ECU. Once you've located them, save the changes, open up the window, and then change the value to the new value you wish to set. You can do this just for one map or you can do it for all, but to remember you need to save and close the window before modifying the map settings. Once you're happy that you've changed all the single value rev limits on each code block, you're going to save it, you're going to go to actions and then you're going to select check sums. As long as they come up as okay, your map is ready to load onto the car and enjoy your new hard cut popcorn limiter at the RPM that you've requested. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future, and don't forget to share it as well. Cheers.